Well, I'm always telling my viewers, go to the manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers. But what I have never actually done is showing you how, if there's anybody who doesn't know. So today I'm going to be giving you, oh, it helps if you spell NVIDIA, right? Today I'm going to be doing a video guide on how to install NVIDIA's graphics drivers. So I'm going to be installing the driver for a GTX 480 card. So the first thing I've done is I've gone to NVIDIA.com and then I'm going to hover over, if I can get my mouse to go there. There we go. I'm going to hover over download drivers and then I'm going to go to download drivers. So far this is pretty straightforward. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to manually find the drivers for my NVIDIA products. So I know that I'm using a GeForce. Uh, there's all the other options here as well. Uh, so I'm using a GeForce. I'm using a 400 series, a 480, but they've got options for all the other GeForce series as well. I actually have cards in my, uh, in my storage room that go back as far as this. Nothing here though, nothing here. Anyway, so this is a GT GeForce 400 series. The particular card I'm installing drivers for is the 480. And then I am using Windows 7 64-bit. If you want to check which copy of uh, Windows you have, whether you're running Vista or Windows 7, you just click on the Start menu, right-click on Computer, go to Properties, and then you can see right somewhere, right there, System Type, 64-bit operating system. So if you need to double check, then just make sure there, that way you download the correct driver for your system. All right, so we've got all the options selected. I speak English, and I don't think they have an English Canada. Hmm, Queen's English, excellent. I'm gonna download the UK drivers just for fun. Okay, so you click yes, uh, it tells you the drivers. Okay, these are WICL certified, so it means they should be stable. They're good for Windows 7 64-bit shows me here on release highlights so you can see how much stuff gets fixed in updated drivers i don't i don't tell you this for my own amusement i mean look at this 24 percent better performance in this game 25 percent better in this game 110 percent better in some technology demo upgrades physics support add support for new quality mode does all this stuff so there's a reason that i tell you never use the drivers that come on the disc Click Agree and Download. Always use the ones from the manufacturer's website. So I'm going to save these. Uh -huh. I'm going to save these to the desktop. And NVIDIA has a very fast... Okay, some UK ad. NVIDIA has very fast download servers. So at my home, I am getting almost 2 megabytes per second down from NVIDIA's server. That means even though their drivers are a huge 155 megs, it's still only going to take about a minute and a half to two minutes. So that's how long I have to sit here and ramble. I guess this would be a problem if you have dial-up. Then you'd be in for a real treat. I mean, man, that would take forever. Oh, uh, it looks like it was just Shaw's speed boost thing. I'm not actually getting two megabytes per second, but if I had a better internet connection, then I would. I guess I could go downstairs and get a drink from the fridge. That wouldn't be all that professional, though, would it? Hmm. Still contemplating. Okay, maybe I'll just turn off the camera for now. All right, the download is complete, so I click Run. Yes. Okay. And, whoops, ouch. Please wait, file, the files are saved to your computer. When complete, the driver installation will start, so you can read that on your own now, because I zoomed in. I have my juice now. See, there's my juice, my Vancouver Canucks mug. Okay, so click Next for NVIDIA Setup. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So you read through this in great detail, and then click Yes. Then it installs the driver software. Installing drivers really isn't all that difficult, but uh, where a lot of people run into trouble is if they're not uh, not super computer savvy and they're not sure, you know, who the manufacturer is for a particular piece of hardware. Like, say for example, they've got a video card and they know it's made by MSI, but they don't know if it's made by NVIDIA or ATI. Um, the board partners tend to have the latest drivers, but they don't always have the very latest and they usually don't have betas and stuff like that available on their site. So it's always better to go directly to ATI's site for Radeon drivers and NVIDIA's site for GeForce drivers. So why bother installing a driver at all? Well, uh, performance differences. And also it gives you a lot more flexibility in configuring your computer. I'm just going to sort of minimize this. It's just going to keep doing what it's doing. 
And so you see I'm actually missing the NVIDIA control panel here. I have no access to the NVIDIA control panel at all until I've installed the driver. So the NVIDIA control panel gives us all kinds of different options for stuff that we can do with our displays. Things like, it's going to go under the desk here. Things like SLI, if you have two video cards, like that. Uh, things like configuring PhysX. Uh, things like setting up three displays at a time. So these are all very, very important things. Yes, I want to restart my computer. This is an SSD based system, so it should restart pretty quick here. I'm going to go ahead and get a drink of my juice. The point of this video is just how easy it is to install your own graphics drivers. I actually have a lot of people comment on this, how my Windows is never genuine and it's always up after the activation period. The reason is that I'm changing hardware all the time. So when you change hardware all the time, it's actually very, very obnoxious to reactivate it. Every single time you change a video card or change a CPU or change a motherboard. So I don't bother anymore. It is genuine software, but yeah, I cannot be bothered to run the stupid, uh, call Microsoft every single time I change a single piece of hardware on the machine. It doesn't make sense. So yeah, I'm aware of the little message. This copy of Windows is not genuine. I just don't care because it is genuine. I just haven't gotten around to activating it. On my real machine, I believe it's active, although it might not be on that one either. Okay, so here we go. Here is all the options we have in the NVIDIA control panel now that we have our driver installed. That was fairly simple, so we can set up things like stereoscopic 3D because we do have 3D vision glasses as well as a, an IR transmitter, or emitter rather. Um, we can set up 3D settings, we can adjust image settings, and we can change SLI and physics configurations, we can change all this different stuff. We can set up multiple displays. That's a pretty cool feature. See, we can do all kinds of stuff. So thank you for checking out my how to install your NVIDIA GeForce drivers. And don't forget to subscribe to my video blog for more tech tips.